Donna J here and welcome to my April 2017 update. I thought it might be neat to try a live action update this time instead of just doing pictures um, and a voiceover like I've done in the past. So here I am and it's, I guess my first real face reveal because um, I did post a picture of myself um, in my last update, I think that was December, maybe? But you couldn't really see me because I had like a ventilator over my face because I was in the hospital. But anyway, um, this April, I don't really know exactly what's going to be going on on my channel. Anytime now, we should be getting um, a patch for 7 Days to Die. It's going to be updating to Alpha. 16 I think it's 16 when that happens I'm gonna lose my save pretty much completely um, when there's an alpha update there's so many changes that your old saves are gonna be terribly buggy and just a huge mess so there's not really any point in trying to play on them um, so if I stop making my dead is dead for dummies um, that's why. I will start a new one. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to look like yet though because it'll depend on what comes in the update, like what changes are made. And I have no idea when this is going to happen. We thought our best estimates were late March or April, which it's April now. So it could be coming soon, maybe not. Nobody really knows. The developers themselves probably don't know, um, unless it's right around the corner and they don't know either. And they try not to put a deadline on themselves because that they've done that in the past and it's backfired. So right now we're just in wait and see. Um, I have thought though that when I start my new Dead is Dead for Dummies playlist, um, or series, I guess, season? I'll put it in its own playlist and I'll also put it as the last video in my current playlist. So anybody who um, finds it through the playlist will know kind of what happened. I didn't just abandon it or anything. But the horde is coming up very, very quickly. <laughs> Um, I just recorded the end of night five, beginning of day six, and that might be up already. I don't know if I'm going to post this first or that first because I'm recording them on the same day. So maybe you've seen it already, maybe you haven't, but, um, so we've got the rest of day six, night six day seven and then it's horde time and i think the horde is going to be a lot of fun i can't wait for that I'm gonna see if i can get all everything i want done in time <laughs> but we'll see i have been focusing exclusively on seven days to die for a while because i knew that this alpha update was coming soon and i wanted to get as far as i could before the alpha came out. Like I really wanted to try and get at least to day seven before the update came out. And hopefully I will, because I don't think there's even like a experimental build out. And they usually do those before the actual major patch. Like so um, people can go on the experimental build and test it out before they do their full release. I did get Sims for City Living though for my birthday, um, which was in March, March the 6th. And I've played that for a couple of hours to try it out. Um, but I didn't want to focus on making any videos because like I said, I wanted to focus on 70s and I, and there's only so much um, energy and wellness that I have to focus on videos and stuff. Um, like, I don't know if you're familiar with the spoon theory or not. Um, I'm, I'm chronically ill. And so the, the spoon theory is something that I 
connect with and it's basically like um, when you wake up you have a certain number of spoons and each thing you do is calculated in spoons like if you take a shower there goes five spoons <laughs> you know then getting dressed is another spoon and doing your hair is another spoon <laughs> and recording a video might be two spoons then editing is one spoon then writing the description everything is another spoon and and so on so I'm, I'm limited in how much I can do because of that. Um, which is why I think it kind of didn't go so great when I tried to do a strict schedule for myself, you know, like um, back before my endometriosis had gotten really bad. When I was, I was doing videos six days a week, I think was my schedule for videos six days a week. And I could keep up with that only so long. And even while I was doing that, I often missed Sims 4 videos because my Sims 4 video series that I was doing just wasn't as popular as my Sims 3 stuff was. So I tried to make sure I could get the Sims 3 stuff done and took Sims 4 days as rest days if need be. Speaking of Sims 3, uh, I have brought it up a couple of times. I started um, a new family just to kind of play around with, um, see how I was doing, basically. And um, basically what I found out is that The Sims 3 takes a long time to load, like it takes at least half an hour to load. And so I feel like it's a, it's a bigger investment because if I spend all that time loading it, I feel like, well, now I have to play. Whereas with other games, with Seven Days to Die, with Sims 4, with Planet Coaster, with um, Civ 5, I just got Civ 5 and the Humble Bundle. If I bring it up and then realize I'm not feeling well enough to play, especially if I don't feel well enough to record, I can just turn it off. No big deal very little time wasted you know uh, with this with the sims 3 though because it runs so terribly on my computer my computer is pretty good especially considering how little money i have to spend on it my computer is pretty good i think but i still i have to close chrome completely like turn it off like in the task manager turn it off I have to make sure there are no programs running in the background that are not completely essential. And it still lags sometimes. So it's a hassle. I love it though, it's my favorite, but it's such a hassle and I hate that so much. But you know, you, I, I love it. So I'm not gonna stop playing it. I just don't know when I'm going to be doing well enough to record. Um, I haven't talked about it a whole lot on my channel, I don't think, but I'm, I'm looking at a new diagnosis. Um, we're not sure what's going on yet. My heart rate is incredibly fast, so I'm having to take a new medication to slow it down. My heartbeat was at um, 130 the last time I went to see my rheumatologist, and um, that was very bad. I think the highest it's supposed to be um, for like a normal level is 100 and lower than that is really perfectly fine. Um, in fact, I went to the cardiologist just a couple of days ago and my resting heartbeat laying down flat was I think she said 89 and she said even that was kind of high for what I was doing. Even though now I'm on medication to bring my heart rate down. Um, but because I've been living with a fast heart rate for a couple of years now, um, my heart rate has been averaging about 115 every time I go to the doctor. But nobody really said anything about it. I don't know. But um, because I'm now trying to adjust to a lower heart rate, that's kind of dragging me down, you know. Um, I'm used to running with all this, you know, high speed and um, 
even even with the crazy fast heart rate, you know, I wasn't feeling great. I still have all this, you know, fatigue and stuff that comes with my other illnesses. Um, so now I just <laughs> I really have no energy at all. But um, I'm working on it, and it's best to be healthy. I need to bring my heart rate down. The um, guy that I saw, my doctor, um, said that especially for my age, having that fast of a heart rate could cause some serious problems down the road because my heart is going to get weak. It's going to get tired from beating so fast, and I could, you know, have it stop working. <laughs> you know, that's that's bad. You need your heart to work. That's like one of the most essential things you need to work, you know. Um, you can do without one kidney. You can do without half your liver or whatever, but you, you need your heart to pump. So I'm trying to adjust to that, and we still don't know why that's happening, what the diagnosis is or anything. Um, but, you know, that's that's the way my life has been for... 10 years now, at least, a new problem starts. I have to wait sometimes a couple of months, sometimes a couple of years before I get a diagnosis. And that's kind of the way it is when you're chronically ill. And you just live, you just go on with it and do the best you can, you know? So at least this isn't something that puts me in the hospital. It's not something that has put me on bed rest. So when I am feeling up to it, I can come and play. Just maybe not The Sims 3 right now. Um, what else? Oh, my Patreon. I did mention in one video, but I didn't make a special video for it just by itself. But I did mention in the first video I made after I started my Patreon, I have one and then I did put it in the descriptions after that but I don't know how many people actually <laughs> look at those I know I look at them sometimes but when it gets down to the links part after they you know actually gave the description uh, I don't always read them very well so if I did make a patreon um, if anybody would like to donate of course, nobody has to. I'm not going to put any content behind a paywall, so you don't have to worry about that. I know some Patreons, you can do stuff like special videos for people who are patrons, but I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, it's just there, you know, because I am chronically ill. I can't work a nine to five job or even part time. <laughs> I really um, can't work, I mean, at all, other than doing this. And even this, I have a hard time with sometimes. So every little bit helps. There's, a, you know, you don't make a whole lot of movie from ad revenue, especially if you're a small channel like I am. Uh, and then of course, if you have ad blocking software, I'm not going to make any money at, at all, at, or I'm not going to make any money at all off of your views. So, which is why um, my $1 tier, I don't, I'm not sure if tier is the right word, but my $1 tier um, is for those who use Adblock. Um, if you if you block the videos, hey, that's fine, I get it. Um, I have Adblock on a lot of sites, not YouTube, because I know the um, challenges of being a creator, so I want to make sure the people I watch get their money. But I have it on <laughs> a bunch of different sites, Facebook especially, Facebook cut out all the ads. I actually have a, a separate whole extension just for Facebook. Um, so that that's why I thought of doing the $1 tier just for people who do have that block so they can feel like you know i'm taking away revenue but now i'm giving it back um just make you feel a little bit better um right now i think i'm making seven dollars which is amazing um you know seven dollars is great it's from my family but you know that's what family is for to support you um I was supposed to do this last month, but I forgot, so I'm going to just throw this into this video, but my 
goal, my first goal on Patreon was to earn a dollar. And I said, if I earn a dollar, I was going to buy myself a fruit and yogurt parfait from McDonald's because they cost a dollar. And this was going to be my treat to myself. Good job, you've made it on the internet. So this is my fruit and yogurt parfait that I bought for myself because I'm making seven dollars. Um, and I think my next goal was to buy an external hard drive for my computer. So that one's a little bit more than a dollar. Um, because if you have been following my channel for a while, um, I once lost everything and I had to start over because my computer's hard drive um, broke, I guess. It stopped working. It Everything had to be deleted. It had to be reformatted completely just to turn on my computer. It wouldn't It wouldn't do anything. It was awful and I lost all my sims. I had to start over the foster care challenge. I had to, I didn't even bother starting over the professional woohooer. Um, and you know, and it was, it was an awful experience. Um, of course, you know, I, I lost other stuff on the computer too, but when you're a gamer, it's those saves that count the most. Um, now I am backing up my saves on, um, Google Drive. So I do have one backup. Um, I don't know though, like, but I'm still going to lose stuff though. That happens to my computer again. I mean, my saves are saved, but I'm sure there's other settings and stuff that I will lose because like I can't upload all of the like folders for every game I play, the whole thing, because I mean, I don't, I don't have that much room on drive. You know, I would have to pay a fee. I already have to pay. I, I can't remember how much it is every month. Um, just to have the space that I need for my saves folders. So, and something could go wrong with Google Drive too, probably, I don't really know. I mean, Google's not infallible. Um, so having an external hard drive would be great. It would just give me peace of mind and also would just allow me to, if something else, if something did happen, happen to my computer, even if it wasn't long term, I could take my information that's on the hard drive and then maybe put it on my husband's computer and play on his computer while my computer was getting fixed or whatever. So it would just be nice to have. And that was my next goal. Um, I think that's it. I don't really have too much else to update you about. I got seven days to die. Sims 4, Sims 3, Patreon. I think that was it that I was going to talk about. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Um, my headband. How well you can see it. Um, my headband I got from my friend Roxanne. She um, has a, a business. She's um, a, a, a presenter, I think is the right word. I couldn't remember her title. Um, for paparazzi and paparazzi is a business that sells five dollar jewelry um all of it's five dollars uh, they got necklaces that are five dollars necklaces i think come with a pair of earrings as well um rings bracelets headbands um hair like clips not just the whole band but just the clip kids jewelry um Ear, they have earrings that are just by themselves like I got my ears aren't pierced you probably can't tell in the video but my ears aren't pierced so I got a pair of clip-on earrings just in case I feel like getting fancy um and so you know I thought I'd give her a shout out she's not paying me for her or anything not even in free advance although I would not say no to that just saying um but I thought I'd give her a shout out because you know I um I wasn't too sure about it, but this is actually pretty good quality, this headband. And um, I went to go look about buying some other ones on like Amazon and they were going to be like six bucks at least, like the cheapest ones, these are five dollars. 
Um, so shout out to her. I will put her page in the description. So if you check her out, if you decide to buy anything, you know, just let her know that Tasha sent you. Um, that is my first name, Tasha. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but um, if you follow me on like Twitter or Instagram, um, you might know that's my name. Or if you came here from one of the Facebook groups I'm in, then you would know that's my name. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, that is it, I think. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope everybody has a fantastic April. Um, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my headband or my super awesome Marauder's Map dress that I got from Hot Topic. Because Harry Potter is my life. Um, you know, whatever. We'll talk about it. Whatever you want to comment, you know. Do you hate my lipstick or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my friend Roxanne's page, check out my Patreon, um, check out my 7 Days to 9 videos, etc, etc. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye!